cursing, he's spitting down the steps. Like he's a handful. But at the end of the day, those are my handfuls. Those are my children because when they was in my care, all their needs was met from their mental needs to their to their medical to anything educational, it was being met. I didn't have DHS in my life. I didn't have all these services and all these, you know, problems, all these issues. My kids were manageable, they was under control. There was no issues with them whatsoever. Like they was kind, they was happy. My kids ask me all the time, when are they coming home? They ask me like, you know, um, how long is it gonna take? Because they're tired. They want to come home. They've been in place for now for 16 months now. And I have been doing everything that I can for my children above and beyond. I have been This is a documentation from the contest for the court hearing. I mean, like, even though it's supposed to be contested, they have to fight now to get it to terminate the rights and stuff. But my thing is, on what grounds do they have to actually terminate them? Because I thought that they had to produce some type of evidence or something to terminate my rights for my children. When I have been doing as much as I can, and the DHS commissioner said you don't have to complete therapy to get your children back, as long as you have documentation stating that you are making progress. That's what we're looking for. But when I bring it to the worker's attention about why does she lash out around this time frame of the ending of June, early July, because her grandfather has passed away July 26th, they feel so, that's all excuses. Enough is enough. So the resource parent, his whole thing is that, well, if the mother would have got her some help then, she would have been fine right now. She would not be um, taking our brand new paper towels from out of our home and she's piling up, filling up with stools she has 10 balls of stools in her drawer and they're saying it's my fault for not providing the correct services for her but you was looking to get her help you was you was doing your part as a mother i read the paperwork you was taking her to these places to get the help correct you was telling them what was going on she's pulling out her hair she's eating objects that she's not supposed to eat so you did your part um, it seems to me that the system is failing you 100 percent a thousand fold because they're not prepared to deal with it um, it's like seven stages of death it took me 14 years to come out of crying every day over my husband being killed on the streets so i can I'm imagine sorry, what your daughter is going through at the age of four was it four when she lost her granddaddy yeah she was four right She does this during the visits, the visits all the time. My son stay eating. They say he's not supposed to have second helpers. But I tell him, if he's not gonna eat, look at him playing around. I give him a flashlight, they own it because he's scared of the dark. So yes, they each get one. I don't do, you know, I don't do one and don't do the other. Like, y'all ready? She wants to model. Like, I really love, I mean, she does herself. I didn't say do this, she does herself. I mean, like, she's like, my brother. Yeah, I mean, so, I mean, we do arts and family stuff. So, I mean, the kids get bored doing this because they want they want to go, you know, like outside of the building and stuff. They're tired of the, doing the same ritual. I'm tired of doing the same ritual, you know. But at the end of the day, I mean, I love my kids. I mean, I do. Like, um, this is their family. The guy over there, that's my uncle, <laughs> which is the kids' <laughs> uncle too. My grandfather's youngest child, and then my cousins, which is the kids' cousins. And me in a picture with them. I mean, like we do family, we do family things, but I don't know. I mean, look, I'm telling you, the kids. I'm like, when I get my kids gifts, like my daughter, she appreciates her gifts. But they said stop buying the toys, you know, because that's causing them to misbehave too, you know, and stuff like that. You know, I mean, and like everybody asks about them, but my main concern is my grandparents. Like, also, my son's grandmother, my son is most relation with her mom's wife. Her health is deteriorating. She's dying. She's been asking to see her grandson. She can't see her grandson. Like, she don't have no ties with her son whatsoever. But she's having with her grandson. She needs to. She's old dead. You know? Um, can we see you looking at the pictures again? Because that's, yeah, that smile right there. These are my grandparents. The kids' great grandparents and my uncle that just passed away. My kids wanted to see him when he passed away from um, cancer. They still asking about him. 
My grandparents was all my children here. This is their great grandparents. And they're working so to, you know, help me to, you know, get my children back and to just do the right thing. They're hurting the children more than help the children at this point. None of their needs are not being met. You know, their medical, their physical, their shot. Not, nothing's not being met with these children. Versus, if they was in my care, they would get the proper treatment. They really would. They're forcing my my son to be um, more older than, um, than what is expected of him because he's autistic on the spectrum. And they don't they don't believe that he has any diagnosis. They don't believe that he has any medical diagnosis. They believe that, you know, I'm just exaggerating it that he's just a normal five year old that needs to be doing what is suspected of him. You know, they had to force him to get potty trained, which he wasn't ready. And he still have an issue with the bathroom right now and that they're yelling at him. And my son has been through black eyes. My son has been through bed bug infestation. My son has been through um, being deprived of snacks and food that I had provided for my children. My son has been through them just taking every clothing that I had bought for my son and replacing them with two small clothing for other children placed on my son. Um, my son, he fears for his life every day being in the system. My son has um, anxiety. He's chewing his nose. He's shaking. You know, he can't sleep at night. He tells me that he has bad dreams and stuff. He's starting to remember all the things that ha has happened to him, you know, since he's been in, been in placement. He's even receiving writing about my children. So my thing is they need to just re return back home. If they return their children home and still provide service in place where so the case manager can monitor the home for maybe twice or three times a week, I'm fine with it. And then she'll see the difference with the behavioral decrease. My son, he loves everything for his sister. And I'm not see why I'm going to get him Different, 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 different